This workout is dedicated to our tootsies, our toes, our feet, our ankles, building strength and mobility in all of them. So find a comfortable seat. I'm using a stool, which works perfectly. We're also gonna use a spiky ball and a towel. And I've chosen uh, a kitchen or a hand towel, which is kind of perfect. So go ahead and gather your goods and then we'll get moving through our feet. Let's start with the ball. We're gonna roll out the bottoms of our feet because it's really important to bring blood to our poor tootsies, right? That hold us up all day, that bear our weight. So let's start with one foot, doesn't matter which one you start with, and start by just gently rolling up and down the foot. So you're gonna start with the heel, move a little bit up to the arch, move to the ball of the foot and even through the toes. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of kneading, pressing, pulling, right? Finding the, trying to get gooey in those feet. And then you can work your way back. And then another technique is just to roll forward and back, forward and back, which is much, with as much pressure as you can sustain. And I'm also, don't forget the inner arch, the outer arch. And if there's a spot that feels really good, kind of dig into that. Again, you can wiggle if you sit in that spot. You can do. You can move a little bit faster and kind of get in there. But just kind of feel what you're feeling, right? Feel that foot and then put the, the ball right in the center of your arch and then like a little monkey foot, right? Try to grab it. Curl the toes and heel around. And then anything else that feels good, right? If you again feel that spot that you found maybe before and then go ahead and switch. So again, start with the heel and just press and knead into the bottoms of the feet and then just gently work your way up to the back of the arch, the middle of the arch, the forefoot, even the toes, gently pressing in, kneading the feet. And then you can do a longer swipe forward and back. If there's again, that's a spot that you find, you can stay there, you can linger a little bit longer. Don't forget the inner arch of the foot and the outer arch of the foot. You can roll your foot a little more energetically, find the center of your arch and melt your toes and heel over like a monkey foot. And then again, anything else that feels good to finish up this foot. Ah, nice. And now, to continue bringing blood and flow to our tootsies, go ahead and sit like this, figure four style, and then take your thumbs and rub them right down the center of your heel, through the center of your foot, right through your center of your toes, and then pull the toes, maybe even give them a little wiggle, stretch them apart. And we're going to floss our toes with our fingers. So try to get as high up as you can between each toe, and then fit those fingers in. Sometimes this might be uncomfortable, so be gentle to yourself, yeah? Only go as far as you can sustain for a while. And then let's take that and circle the ankle. And while you're circling, take that thumb joint right at your Achilles and traction the heel away from the knee to give yourself some length, some more space as you circle. Make sure you do both directions. And again, be easy to yourself. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall and ground that other foot. Get into the toes themselves, curl and point, curl and point the feet, right? So uh, uncurl, flex. And now let's go ahead and actually flex and then point. And again, support the heel. Give yourself some traction in that ankle with that thumb joint traction and pull the heel away from the knee. And again, be nice with yourself, with your foot. And then take that hand away and just kind of wiggle the toes, let the ankle relax. Feel how it feels hopefully nice and open and warm and spacious, and then other side. So cross that ankle over the other knee, take your thumbs from your heel and swipe down the center of your foot out through the toes. Do that a couple times. Spread the toes and then pull them away from the heel. And let's floss the tootsies on this side. From your pinky, fourth, third, second finger, floss them between your toes as high as you can and then begin to circle the ankle. Don't forget to put that, that other thumb joint, right? Traction it at your Achilles. Pull that heel away from the knee. Again, being nice and easy as you circle both directions, sitting as tall as you can. 
You're also trying to be released in your hip and especially in that ankle as you give it some more space. And then go ahead and let's take that flex, pulling the heel away, point, flex and point, get into the toes themselves, maybe wiggle a little bit closer, those fingers up to the toes, this the top of the toe. And then take it out, take that hand out, and then good, shake out that foot. And let's find your towel, very, very nice. So now that we have some space and blood in our feet, let's see if we can strengthen our arches. So set out your towel, make sure it's like comfortably away from you, ground your heel and put the ball of your foot and toes on. And what we're gonna try to do is crumple the towel as if we, you know how easy it is with your hands and fingers? Well, maybe not so much here, but you're pulling in and just notice how you might feel your arch, might actually see it lift and strengthen, right? And really think of your toes being your fingers. So you're lengthening out to grab, lengthening out to grab, lengthen and get as far as you can. I did okay on this side. That's right, pull it in, pull it in. Your body might get involved, that's okay. Just make sure you're sitting nice and tall. Keep reaching, keep pulling, trying to get to another edge. But again, just wherever you are is wherever you get to. And even if you don't reach that edge, you're still kneading the foot, right? You're still putting nice strength into the arch. So now let's push it away, push it away, curl and then lengthen, curl and then lengthen through the toes. And again, as far as you can, yeah, I found a little edge that I had to get over. And so go ahead and again, push and push and reach, make your toes, make the bottom of your foot, that plantar fascia, make it longer and longer until you've had enough, and that's switch feet. Again, ground that heel, put the ball and toes of the foot on the edge of the towel, and then begin to curl and curl, reach and curl, reach and curl, reach your, fin your toes like their fingers, and reach and reach, and then you watch that arch, feel the arch engage and grow doming upwards, knead the foot, knead the toes, support that arch. And again, you might have one foot that's, you know, a little trickier than the other. No judgment. Keep reaching. And then kind of once you've found the edge, begin to push away and push away and reach the toes. Curl and reach, curl and reach, curl and reach. A little inchworm through the foot and arch and toes. Ah, and then finish and then find a comfortable seat. Legs parallel. You can shake out those feet before you find that seat. And let's work through the feet. So we're going to rise up to tiptoe all the way up to point. Back down through tiptoe, put the heels down. Demi point, point, demi, and flex. Imagine you have a ball between your inner arches. Give it a squeeze so that we track right over the big and second toe. And demi, point, demi, and flex. Put those feet down. Now let's go ahead and rise up to that tiptoe, that demi point. Bring the inner arches together and then pull them apart. So we're going to wing the foot, squeeze that imaginary ball, and then let it drop. We're going to sickle the ankles. And bring those inner arches together and then pull those inner arches apart. Try to squeeze your ankle bones together and then really pull them apart. Get up, get on the outside of that pinky toe, those pinky toes. And then let's take some circles. Bring the arches together, let them drop a bit, take them out, and right up and over the center. Reverse those circles and try to keep the knees tracking pretty parallel. So we're really isolating the movement in the ankle joints and toes themselves. And then find your way back up to that point. Be a ballerina dancer for a moment. Relax the feet down, shake them out, and you made it. Awesome. Savor the say as in you, today and always.